How you doing? We're in my root cellar, talking about insulating my roof here. I've been doing a couple of videos about that. I'm all set to spray foam the cracks to fill it in, make it more airtight. And then this, the tr you don't, I can't really pull on that. It doesn't work anymore. This is clogged up. I'm pretty sure I screwed this up. Not surprising, right? So the question here is, can I fix this? I don't know, but I'm all about, hey, let's try this and see what happens. This is a red flag. When you're cleaning up, oh, that's, I gotta get the lens fixed, I know that. When you're cleaning up after using the spray foam gun, you have to clean out your um, cans as well. Uh, one of these, I think. Oh, those are nice too. 19 millimeter. All right. That's not coming off very easily. This doesn't inspire a lot of confidence, but it's a little, oh, it's a little better. Okay. I'm starting to smell acetone just taking this off. I haven't sprayed any acetone or anything. And I can never remember how close to the GoPro I can put things. This side looks clear, but some gunk. And here, you, I don't know if you can see that. Um, there is definitely some foam in there. There is a slot in the valve in there for a screwdriver. Nice choices, huh? Like some tea? That kind of makes the world go round, isn't it? Wow, that flare is bad. I'll get that fixed, I'll order the lens. This has a spring and a little ball in it, so if, when I take this apart, I wanna do it over a container, so if anything falls, falls into the container. Oh, it's coming out pretty easily here. A lot of gunk in there, though. You see all that gunk? In there, there's a lot of crud. This is why you save little pieces of wire. Um, I just have to find the end of it first. I always save wire because I'm like, oh, I might need that one day. And then I just stick it right there because I, if I don't see something, I don't know what's around. So that's why my shop looks like it does. But um, where's the end of this? So I want some kind of little cleaning tool. And uh, here we go. So there's spray foam in here and more here. There's supposed to be a spring in here. When you buy this kit, I'll link to the kit below. You know, I always say that. Um, does help pay the bills. Thank you though. This cleaner comes with the kit, which is really important. It has a spray nozzle and also screws into the gun, but it's also expensive. So I bought just some acetone, hardware store acetone. So I'm gonna try and do most of the cleaning with this instead of this. I'm gonna put a little acetone in here. And try and dissolve that mess. So I've got acetone on both sides of this valve and I think I might just have to let it sit for a while. I'm gonna see if I can push this little ball out of here. Nope. So it's got, it's got acetone in here. I'm gonna let it just sit in here. And then this gun is, uh, just looking in here, you can see how gummed up this thing is. I think just fill up the whole barrel. Wow, that smells. Okay, let's get away from that. So yeah. Sorry, a little acetone fog there. Let this sit, let the ball valve sit, go hang out the Labradors.
Hello. Hey. What have you been doing? I've been trying to repair that. Well, you're watching the video, so you know. I'm explaining to the camera operator. So there's a ball with a spring in here. Well, the spring popped out and went somewhere, and I can't find it. I oh. can't believe you can't find hello, it. Hello, Spiker. Oh, hello, Spiker. Hello. What are you doing? Ooh. So I soaked these parts in acetone, and acetone can clean out kind of uncured spray foam or bubbly foamy spray foam out of your gun. But when it's solid, it's really the only way to get out is, you know, I had a little wire and I'm going in here. Yeah. I even, I bought, I was gonna buy pipe cleaners and instead I got these uh, really cool cleaner things. And there comes a point where the time exceeds the reward. Is that a good phrase? It gets to the point where what's your time worth versus getting the project done, right? So I have a solution. There comes a time when it's not worth it. There you go. <laughs> it's like icing. How'd you do that? I bought a new one. <laughs> this is a knockoff and I was like, let's see what happens. And that does quite nice. You can open the valve up some more. Uh, which way do I want to go? This way? Oh, it's like cheese whiz. Oh. <laughs> Make sure you're wearing clothes you don't care about. Remember that. So yeah, there comes a point where, I mean, the, the name brand one of this is quite expensive. I got this about half price. I'll link to it in the show notes and the comment, pinned comment. But I was like, I, I just need to get the project going and instead I'm fiddling, trying to fix this thing in the middle of the night, and I'm like, let's just cut to the chase here. Um, I'll let you know how this works out. Always clean this thing. That was my thing. I let it sit too long and it dried out. But if you clean it every time, you're good to go. And I love spray foam, as uh, somebody knows. Right? I, I know that, because it's everywhere. Does it come in different colors? 